everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the MyUI Ice Cream Sandwich ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. Uh, very awesome that uh, this ROM has been ported to our devices. This is a nice ROM just based off of Android 4.0.3. I do want to first say that you will not have 4G obviously since your bootloader is unlocked as well as Incoming uh, MMS doesn't work. I believe outgoing MMS works in the stock, stock messaging application, but if you want picture messaging, you need to install Go SMS Pro from the market. You can just turn off notifications, but when you get a an MMS or need to send one, just use Go SMS Pro. Not a big deal. So um, nice that there's at least a fix for it. So, but other than that, that's the only bug. Just in stock uh, the stock SMS application. Uh, MMS isn't working, which is really no big deal, as I said. So right away, you will get three home uh, launcher options. You have Apex, uh, MyUI Home, and Trebuchet. Apex and Trebuchet are very similar. Trebuchet is the launcher used in CM9. Apex is just a custom ice cream sandwich launcher. Both of them look like the stock ice cream sandwich launcher with some added tweaks. So here's Trebuchet, as you can see. You've got your home screens, you get your horizontal uh, app drawer. So you, it's nice that you have that option. With My UI Home, you have no app drawer and uh, all your apps on your home screens. So there's kind of your difference there um, with with that. So other than that, I mean, other you really get your option. Uh, you can go into the Play Store and get a, another launcher if you don't like that. But otherwise, swipe down notification bar. You can swipe away your notification bar, your notifications. As you can see, you can just swipe them away and they go away. Um, as you saw when I brought down the notification bar, it brought up my notifications, and now uh, when I bring it down, it brings up my toggles. When you have a notification, it will always bring up your notifications. When you uh, don't have any, it will always bring up your toggles, which is very nice that they, they have modified that. So you can go into airplane mode, screenshot, vibration, Bluetooth, GPS, uh, Wi-Fi, data. I mean, you have so many toggles you can mess with here, which is great. You can swipe in between notifications and toggles, swipe in between the two, which is very cool. Um, there's a lot of theming options, but with themes, you got to be very careful since the Ice Cream Sandwich My UI ROMs are just coming out. The themes still, some of them still need to be updated to to be compatible with the Ice Cream Sandwich version. I downloaded the Moto Blur theme and it seemed to work fine when I used it. Um, I figured that would work uh, since I'm on the Photon anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that theme. And basically it'll theme pretty much everything, all your um, applications, it'll theme your battery icon, your status bar. As you can see, I got blue icons now uh, down there. Um, it looks still kind of goofy. I don't think it's looking how it's supposed to, but you gotta be careful when installing themes and using them because um, some might be wrong. So as you can see, uh, icons down there just look like stock uh, blur on the Photon, which is kind of cool. I believe the the lock screen gets themed it does you swipe it up to theme to uh, unlock but I mean you can go back to your to your other one if you want you can actually customize them you can choose which ones you want to apply whether you don't want an SMS application or something like that um, but yeah I mean you can apply your different themes you go to them they do take a little while to download so kind of be patient with that all you have to do is go to online theme on the right here and you got hottest and latest my guess is if you go to latest um, it will show the ones updated later so I'm hoping that would be more so of the ice cream sandwich style themes, which is kind of nice. So you can swipe down, you can find ones that you like, just select it if you find one you like, and hope, hope I guess, that it's ice cream sandwich compatible. There's really no way to tell, unfortunately. I wish there was, but there's really not at the moment. Hopefully that gets updated in the future. And as more phones get the ice cream sandwich version, they will get updated as well. But anyways, I'm gonna go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and as you can see right there, Android version 4.0.3 right there. It is overclocked, you'll see dual core 1.3 three gigahertz it's overclocked to 1.3 gigahertz by default you can underclock it below that obviously it's a one gigahertz pro dual core processor by default you can get an application like cpu master and go into it and underclock it as you can see it's at 1300 you can drop it down to w whether you want it to be back to stock uh, one gigahertz you can hit apply try it out if you have any issues reboot don't hit set on boot until you know it works so I mean now I'm back down to one gigahertz that'll help save battery um, but anyways uh, other things that are very cool about this ROM you do have different applications you have your uh, different dialer style as you can see right here um, you got a different dial you can go straight to contacts make the call and of course those will get themed as you add different themes and such to your ROM, which is which is nice that those uh, get added and such. Other things, you got a nice uh, My UI uh, browser, which is themed just like Ice Cream Sandwich. So you got your bookmarks here, you got uh, history, 
um, and yellow page. So you got a bunch of uh, websites over here as well. So let's go ahead and try and go to one. Let's go ahead and type in a, a URL. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi right now, uh, but 3G does work, of course. And as you saw, you've got basically the stock ice cream sandwich keyboard, but it's themed orange, so that's kind of cool. Um, as you can see, Google.com loaded right up. Uh, it works very well. Whoops. So I can go back to history, and it should show Google. There it is. And it should take me to it, um, google.com. You also have your tabs option. So uh, you, you have tabs, you can add tabs if you'd like to. It'll bring you back to your home page and you can try and go to a different site. So if you wanna go to like Amazon, you can go to that and you got your two tabs open. You've got your Google search and your Amazon tabs. You can swipe away those, uh, those tabs if you wanna close them out. So overall, it's a really cool browser. Um, I, I, I do like it a lot and Chrome beta should work just fine as well. I'm gonna go back to settings. Um, scroll down, go to security. I don't know if face unlock's included. I haven't looked, and it is. So you've got face unlock as well, which is great uh, that uh, they got face unlock going with this ROM. Everything works though. GPS, GPS got a lock right away. I was very impressed with that, and it was very accurate as well. So that's kind of very cool, actually. You also have your running apps, recent apps list. Just press and hold on the home button, and as you can see, brings it up your recent apps. You're running apps to exit out of them. All you have to do is just swipe it away and it goes away for you. So if you don't want them showing on there, you can just swipe it away. So nice that you have that. So, I mean, other than that, you got, you got all your, uh, you got a My UI control application where you can change your status bar layout, your status bar options as well. Um, it's kind of nice that you can, you can do that. You'll see up at the top, um, it says kick ass mofo <laughs> up at the top. Developers put that in. Um, it, you really can't edit that yet. Uh, I'm sure in an update they'll be able to edit that. Uh, but right now you can't edit that, so you're gonna have to stick with that, which is honestly no big deal to me. So um, if you want swipe, you do need to make a swipe beta account, and then you can go into the swipe installer application and then sign in, and it, you can automatically download the swipe beta, which is really nice that they included that. So you just hit log in after you make your swipe beta account, and you can use the ice cream sandwich style swipe. Uh, really, other than that, that's just about it. You have basically your stock ice cream sandwich applications, your calendar, as you can see, you can pinch in, you can swipe between days, you can change it to months. So if you wanna go to months, you can. So very awesome that uh, you got those different applications. Of course, you got updated Google Talk application, all those nice ice cream sandwich style applications. Camera um, works great, of course. So does video camera, both of those work very nicely. So no worries there. You can add folders on the My UI um, style launcher if you uh, like that. So you can go to your calculator. I mean, you can add as many um, applications into your one folder as you want. As you can see, this has a tool folder set by default. You got your different uh, applications, monitor, compass, notes, permissions, clock, all those great applications. But yeah. Other than that, it's just about it. You have a reboot option where you can just reboot straight into recovery, which is nice. You can go down here and uh, take a screenshot within the toggle. So you can just tap that and it takes a screenshot for you. I believe you can press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Possibly not. Um, I'd have to mess with that to uh, check that out. But really, that is about it. I'm going to go back to settings really quickly. And you'll see it's got status bar settings right here where you can have it be compact or page where your toggles are either a whole page or compact into one with the notifications. So you have that, that option. You can customize the position of them. You can um, actually change the, uh, I believe, the the order of them and such. So customize toggles position, you can. You can change the order of them within that. Uh, right there, you can dr drop ones that aren't active as well. So you can add torch and such and power off and reboot. So you have all those different options, which is nice that you can add those. You have battery indicator style, you have graphical, you have percentage, which will show the battery percentage up at the top, or you have top bar. Top bar, as you can see, it brings up a top bar up there. It's green. It looks like uh, it's almost full. It ends just short of there. It's kind of letting you know what your battery percentage is at. When it's at 50%, the bar's only gonna be 50% of the top of the screen, which is always a cool battery uh, a battery indicator. I think that's actually really neat. Other than that though, that's about it. Everything I wanted to go over with this ROM, it's very smooth, running very well as well. Just make sure you do get Go SMS so you can get those MMS working. But other than that, that's just about it to uh, get everything going for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the video below. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.